Welcome to this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. Tyler and I are fishing kind of a tough bite and everybody who spent some time on the water knows that there are times when the fishing is just neutral. It's sometimes just tough. You can't make them always eat when no, you want them to, you right? Can't. No. And today we're going to break down a tough situation, a clear water lake, which is number one. So very clear water, yeah. 20 foot visibility in some places on this lake. So very, very clear water. Wind change. Well, what direction? The worst. Uh, northeast. Northeast, right? Very <laughs> tough. And then you're talking about staying on top of fish where you can fish for them, but not spook them right. because of the clear water. So that's one of the things that we're going to have to talk about today's boat positioning, which is always crucial, mm -hmm. very crucial. But we got our ace in the hole. We are going to tie on the MVP jig. We used it last year. I was a huge fan and I have been asking, when do we get to use the MVP jig again? And Tyler's like, I have the perfect application. The perfect situation. The toughest bite yeah. we're going to try it out for. <laughs> well, the one good thing about the MVP jig that we learned last time we used it is you get phenomenal hook really sets good with hook it. Sets. So once you get a fish pinned, very slim chance you're going to lose it because right. of the hook design. So we're really excited about that. We'll show you that Which again. Which is imperative today because yep. we don't think, I mean, the fish are neutral. So we're not going to, it's not going to be action oriented right. today. We don't think. So every fish is going to count. Every fish is going to count. Every bite is crucial right. for us today. And the other thing that I like to talk about and that I like to do just on a personal level for walleyes, my favorite tactic is a slow drag. Mm -hmm. And that is something that Sarah and I have developed over the years, fishing really clear water situations when fish are really tough. Yep. They almost seem smarter. Fish in clear water seem a little more tougher to catch. When they're more neutral, they just right. stare at your bait. So and, they're studying everything right. that you put in front of their face. Right, and the slow drag has always been good for us. And we'll talk about what a slow drag is and how it can be more effective on clear water situations. So stay with us. We'll be right back for some great walleye action on the Sportsman's Journal. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. Before you head out on the water, check out northlandtackle.com. We got our lines in the water. Feels Step good. one. Yeah. Get a line breathe sigh of relief. Right. We're fishing. And I feel sometimes like we're a broken record on the show when we talk about boat positioning all the time. But it's very important. But it's super crucial. And on the onset of the, on this episode, we talked about fishing in clear water, right? Mm -hmm. And in clear water, they can see a lot of stuff. Yep. They can see a lot of stuff a lot easier in murky water, that's for sure. So when you set up to do this drag technique or your fish in clear bodies of water, don't set up on top of the fish. Mark them, putts around a little bit, find a location that they're not gonna be spooked. So it's lay off of them. That's where this drag technique comes in real handy because you can fan cast. And of course the drag is slow, right. methodical, but very, very, very important not to set up right on top of these fish in clear water. Right, and I think, you know, we're familiar with, with some of the structure and, and what we do is we we know that there's, say we're on a flat, we know that there's a rock. And in clear water, fish are relating to those things. Yep. They, they're not gonna sit on top of that. Mm -hmm. They're gonna move around it, but right. they're gonna relate to that. So we are setting up off of that structure and then fan casting around that. Exactly. So when they come to ambush on that rock, hopefully we're right there. We're right there. Oh, I got my... Ooh, back. I didn't know what was happening. I was like, is it a snake? No, or? it was a fish. <laughs> I missed happening? him the first time and he came back. And you know what? Oh, okay. That is okay start for me. I'll take a, a little bit of luck. I'm just really my lineup. You, you know that that is going to be a good fish. Yeah, this feels really good, guys. This feels like a good starter. Uh, I had the bite. I missed him, which is rare. Right. As, I thought as I go to reel my slack in to check my minnow, he comes back and slaps her. Look at this for a starter. Yeah, that's a pretty good fish. Nice. Nicely done. Ooh, and perfect hook size. I know. Let's take a look here. Uh, Sarah asked if we can do an episode with MVP jig. I am a big Northland. fan. And of course, I said yes because when we used them last time, we didn't lose too many fish. Let's see that gal. Look at that right there. I gotta get a better handle on her. She's kind of wrapped up. In the I body. have been very anxious to yeah, use the MVP been. jig again. Oh, look at that. Whoops, a little tangled. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful starter fish, huh? On the MVP jig. Let's get her back in there. See you later, honey. Oh, that's a fish. 
Nice job. <sighs> I just pitched out. Oh, that one was way out there. Do you want me to get the net? Oh, I just got a Did glimpse. Did you get a glimpse? Like just a flash. There he is again. He's coming. He's coming. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that's a chunky one. Yes. Oh, nice. nice oh my goodness, work. That's wow. That's a dandy. That's a heavy fish. Yes. That is a heavy walleye right, right there. Right in top oh, jaw. Oh, wow. Just like we draw it up. Yeah, he's stuck on the net there. That's all right, we'll go down there and get him. Take a look here. Yeah, I got the MVP jig right in the net there. I don't want to hurt her. That's a big, big walleye. That wow. is, I'm impressed. Yes. How about that how, is so much fun. Well, she's eating. Yeah, and you know what? We're using, I got, I got one eighth ounce on the MVP. <sighs> and Sarah's going a little bit heavier, but is that not gorgeous? But we got really light line we're using today. And Sarah and I, that's how we learned most of our fishing techniques. Yes, is we did. fishing we hard. On Here, I'm gonna get the net. Out. Clear water situations makes you a really good angler when you can figure that out. And we're doing that today again. Kind of taking our old tricks and put them to use yeah, one more time. Yeah, we're some old school stuff. Isn't here. that a beauty, Sarah? Wow. Look at that thing. I love it. <laughs> That's Look at the hump. I mean, that mm -hmm. is, wow. We'll get her right back That's in a nice there. Wall, I wow. Think. That one hit quite a ways out, did it or not? Uh, I was out a little ways, yeah. I was very slowly dragging, yeah. and he picked it up. Nice and job. I just, Big fish, I feel good? It feels good. Feel I let good. him have it. And oh my, it. what do you got? Yeah, when you, wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at this go. We're using really light stuff, so having... Sarah's using the whole crest liner I'm, here. I'm gonna just do whatever it takes. <laughs> She's using the whole teller. <clears throat> this is a big fish though, huh? Yeah, it's a nice walleye. Yeah. With that acrobatic... Oh my gosh. Here we go, guys. That's a big fish. I can't see. I, can see I got him, Sarah. That's yeah. a dandy. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Right yes. here, bud. Nice job. <laughs> this fish is not happy, but I'm happy. All right. Wow. There we go. Look at that. Unbelievable. Holy cow, Sarah. <laughs> that is fun. And that is why the MVP jig is the MVP jig. <laughs> that is an awesome fish. That's a, that is a heavy fish. That is not a light walleye right there. That one was trying to run with it. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that one was trying to run with it. <laughs> it was. I can feel it taking it to go. Oh, man. That was a to-go order. You know, and you know, a, a big a, thing about when you're... deep. When, oh, my goodness. Is he a big fish? When we're dragging jigs, everything's different than, like, say, vertical jig. Your hook yes. sets are different, so that's yep. something you got to keep aware of because... Your angles are Your different. angles are all different. This is I fun loosened right it here. just there, a Oh, hair. my goodness. Okay. Oh, he's going to go on one last yeah. run here by the rig. Yep. Remember, just trying to keep my nets are made for scooping. Yeah, stabbing. get them in there. There we go. The back hey, of and I saved my minnow. All right. There you go. A two for one deal. <laughs> wow. Nice job, Sarah. Thank you. Good job. Whew. Love it. Fantastic. Right. But now this one's head is Sarah, not as long. That's a jumbo walleye. Is the other walleye's head? But look at how thick that fish is. I took that your is, seat. You're okay. Right. That is a wow. wide. That is a wide load <laughs> coming through. I mean. That is awesome. Yeah. What a dandy. That is a healthy fish Unbelievable. right there. I love it. Unbelievable. Yeah. There, that, and there are big fish that swim in clear water lakes all over the North Country. And you start putting the patterns together, start doing all the right things, you're going to start catching fish like mm -hmm. this. That's awesome, Sarah. Yeah, we want to get her back. Whew. A beautiful walleye. Yes, it was. Uh, that is so much fun. I don't, like, I, I wasn't, I don't know exactly what my expectations were, but I guess I wasn't expecting these these are nice. Big, like, every fish we caught has yeah. been high quality. Yeah, I was and, expecting some eaters. Right, but that that makes the tough bite even more fun when they're big. Yes, it does. And you know, we talked about the MVP last year. If you guys watched our episode on Lake of the Woods, we got to use it for the first mm -hmm. time, and we loved it. Yes. And it bears repeating on its qualities that helps yeah. you catch a lot of fish, and especially in clear water situations. So I'm actually using the quarter. Um, it comes in 
Four different sizes? Four different sizes, all the way up so, to half ounce. I got eight. So Tyler's using an eighth, I'm using a quarter. I'm downsizing a tad. But uh, very, very lifelike jig head. Yeah. Uh, but I'm a big fan of the hook right. itself. exactly. You know, that's a beefed up hook. It's very beefed up. <laughs> so that's the Gamagatsu Big River hook. And the bend in it is a little bit unique mm -hmm. in just a circle hook. Obviously that produces a wider gap there. And then that bend is getting these hook sets yeah. that are just I feel a lot of confidence in those right. And the cool thing about these MVP jig heads is the eyeball and the mandible jaw. It just mm -hmm. looks like a fat head head. It, it does. Right? It, it's a. And all you're doing is just adding a little bit of color on there and it's producing it. big time. Yes, it is. I'm going to get back out there. It's my turn. I'm going to get a minnow. You've caught like two in a row. I don't like that. Northland Tackle's Elite Series MVP jig features a realistic head design and a gamakatsu big river hook. Perfect for fishing bulky plastics and big minnows. The Elite Series MVP jig from Northland Tackle. We are Walleye. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. To view their full lineup of open water apparel, head to strikerbrands.com. bit to work it. Real good. Back bend or no? I'm um, guessing. Yes, yes. Oh, I can see him already. Can Holy you? cow. Big fish, big fish. He's not oh, uh... We got all heck breaking loose over here. Let's see him. Oh, wow. wow. He came. Nice. He came up without much of a fight. No. Yeah. That's, we'll take him though. Yeah, I don't I don't care. That's okay. That he's going to give me a problem in the net is what's going to happen. Is he? kind of want to keep my minnow if, as I can. Ooh, feisty. Look at that. That's a long one. That's any, a beautiful fish. Any mistake the fish is going to make, I'm going to try to take advantage of it. And he made the mistake by coming back for a second. So, so for yours, he's just picking it up. You're feeling the weight or you're feeling the thunk? Uh, so I'm actually dragging it across the bottom and then I'm watching my rod tip. And when I see my rod tip bend a little bit more than it does without a fish on it, I actually drop my rod tip back down a little bit and then let him take it for three, four seconds. And then I set the hook. Nice. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. You got to be patient. You do. With the drag, you got to be patient. Hey, what do you think about the old MVP jig? I love I would, it. Yeah, I would say it's doing its J-O-B, yes, the would. MVP. I would too, I would agree. You know what, I think we should take a pause. Uh -huh. You know, we wanna talk about the MVP jig and how well it's doing, but I think that the, this leads us into a great conversation right. about a partnership that we are feel very fortunate to be a part of, and it's herofishing.org. The name kind of speaks, speaks for itself, but uh, Hero Fishing is an organization that's a nonprofit, and what they do is they take people in the community who we, feel are heroes, right. like veterans, uh, doctors, nurses, teachers, and they take them fishing. And why would you take someone fishing? Because what it does, fishing allows you to go out in mother nature yep. to kind of reset, recharge, and then go back with a rejuvenated sense of I self, like it. so yep. to speak. And hero fishing allows people to nominate whoever they feel is deserving and who's ever a hero in their life. Right. And then they take them fishing. And hero fishing does all the Organizing. All expenses paid, you bet. All expenses paid. Right. They have some really phenomenal trips. You can check them out, herofishing.org. Yep. And when Kent, the president, reached out to us and asked us to get involved and help them spread the word, we were, couldn't have been more honored because right. the veterans of the United States, the people, men and women who go out there and give our freedoms and allow Sarah and I to come and do this yeah. for a job, and in order for us to nominate people, give back, let those people who have sacrificed a lot go out and enjoy what we get to enjoy all the time. Sometimes. Yeah we might take for granted, but to them it's the trip of a lifetime. Hero Fishing does that for them, and that's a pretty special thing, and we're very honored to be a part of that. I agree, 100%. Back in business. I got one. You got one going? Good hook set. <laughs> I'd say that's a good hook set. <sighs> nice job. See, wow. now I got a reel out of the zone. I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Big fish. Yes, it feels good. I'm just. Wow. Yeah, it feels like a good fish. Use all 1850 that fish, of the pro Oh tiller. my goodness, that fish is shaking its head and now pulling drag and... Keep it pinned. It feels like a good fish. Let the MVP do its Ooh, work. That this fish picked that minnow up off the oh bottom. Oh my gosh, this is... And we're just gobble, gobble, awesome. gobble. I cannot believe... Big head shake. Right, but how these fish 
you know, you can't be on top of them. We talked about no, that. Oh, you spook them. And you gotta have light equipment to get a lot of these big fish to bite. Wow. The it's, finesse tactics yes, finesse is defi tactic. definitely. Keep them pinned, hon. I know, I'm a little nervous here. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, honey. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's a big fish. I like, don't wanna. I didn't oh, know what was happening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, um. my goodness. Went to net it. <laughs> Sarah. And then said, no, I'm not going to net it. And I was like, oh, no, let's, let's net it. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh. My. <laughs> goodness. Uh, I'm going to get the camera for some pics. Unbelievable. Wow. My sunglasses are falling off my face. <sighs> that is a beautiful walleye. Wow. That is a fish. The MVP jig just officially earned its name, the MVP. Wow. That is a... Awesome fish, Sarah. That's gorgeous. Unbelievable. Whew. I'm gonna put it back in the net. We're gonna get some pictures of this one. And let her go, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Wow. We have talked a lot today about having the right equipment to do this technique. The drag presentation Crucial. is important because we're fishing neutral, finicky yep. fish. So there's not really a huge triggering aspect from right. that. They're not aggressive, they don't care. The slower, the better. And I say painfully slow. Yes, you do. So when you're doing that drag, we're talking like three to four inch pulse and then stop. Mm -hmm. You're not making that bait leave the strike zone too long. You keep it in front of them. They're finicky. You got to spoon feed these fish sometimes. Yeah. And the other thing is you're not moving it vertically a lot. It's staying right down to the right. bottom where those wallies are, belly to the bottom. Mm -hmm. They want to just go down, kind of slurp it in. And if they have to expend a lot of energy, they're just going to let it go. Right. And for our setup, we're using P-Line, PF Original, Copolymer Line. We're using eight pound test. Line uh, determines a lot. And Copolymer is similar to monofilament, except for it's a little bit stronger. It's a little bit thinner in diameter, but yeah. kind of the same principles, the same stretch. And then we have that tied on. We have a floral carbon leader just for a little bit more abrasion resistance. And the biggest part of this is being able to feel constant contact right. of, your, of your bait dragging on the bottom. That's really important. Anytime you're fishing away from the boat like we are today, we're fan casting the area. We get a hit outside the boat, 20, 30, sometimes 40 feet. We want to get as much slack off the water as possible, straight into the hook set and get good hook penetration. Right. Bring a big walleye in. Right. So the KCR 7.6 is our go-to. We're both using the X11 series. And the other nice thing about them, we talk about this a lot on his rods, are the micro guides. But it keeps that line close to that blank, so you feel everything that's happening. Yep. And it's perfect for live bait rigging, lindy rigging, or the drag. Yep. Wow. <laughs> that one slammed her. That was a hungry one. That was a hungry feller. He came all the way up. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That's a, that's a big fish. Yeah. I'm coming. That's a nice one. <laughs> That's a dandy. He came off the bottom and did oh, not mess around. No. He was eating. Look at that. Whew. Yes. Yeah. Good job, Sarah. All right. That did not take long for that one. What an unbelievable day, um, huh? Yes. Wow. Awesome. Oh, wow. These fish are gorgeous. Are gorgeous and amazing. And that is fun right there. Every single walleye that comes up caught on that MVP jig is amazing. <laughs> I am loving it. Whew. Just another stud. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thick. Mm -hmm. Round. Do you like the drag? The drag is a deadly mm -hmm. in clear yep. water. It's unbelievable. Yep. That was a dandy hunt. <laughs> I see. Do you think I need to get a new catchphrase? <laughs> Do you think I overdo I dandy too much? No, they all are dandies. They all are dandies, yeah, aren't they? They sure are. So uh, clear water situations can be real tough. It can be very challenging. And Sarah and I talked about it a lot today about how that's how we learned a lot of our techniques mm -hmm. is clear water, tough conditions, northern Wisconsin, spent a lot of time yep, up there. Pressured water. Pressured water, yes. Clear water situations. We dealt with that northeast wind, which always isn't the greatest. Yep. But if you start taking some things and start thinking, you know what? These are finesse fish, mm -hmm. finicky. Yep. What are we going to do to counteract that yep. and catch more fish? We, kind of went back to the basics. We went back to the basics a little bit. You know, yeah. and sometimes you get caught up in, we, we talk about using your electronics and boat control and yeah. all that is huge, um, but sometimes you get caught up in that and, you know, you stare at the screen for a while yeah. and we kind of went back to the basics and stepped back and we're like, how do we counteract 
finicky fish. What right. do we used to do? Right. Let's go back to that. Exactly. And, and I work. like I like that slow drag. I do that. I, yeah. I feel like that's one of my better walleye techniques. Mm -hmm. I excel at. I just yeah. like this patience, yeah. feeling my way around. Yeah, you kind of found the pattern today first, and yeah. and that's what you were doing. And then you kind of went hit cleanup. <laughs> all big one. I said, I'll come and in. As usual. <laughs> but the Check MVP jig is actually all that. It is the jig head that it we is. go to when t t times are tough. And when you have big fish, today we weren't expecting all these big fish. No, not at all. what a blast. But you also have to talk about, fishing is, sometimes we take it a little too serious. Yes, we Fishing do. is supposed to be fun, good for the soul, and very yeah. important. And Hero Fishing is one of those yeah. organizations that you want to become a part of. Look them up, take a look at their website, see what they can do, and they can really change someone's life. And they've done it in the past and they're going to keep doing it in the future. So everybody, take a look at herofishing.org. Yeah nominate somebody that's deserving of a fishing trip, nominate right. somebody that needs maybe that little rejuvenation because that's yeah. what fishing is all about. And, uh, and everybody, thank you so much for watching and joining us. We will see you next week on Sportsman's Journal. To find out more information and all the amazing things Hero Fishing is doing, or to nominate your hero, visit herofishing.org.